Hello everybody, it's Daffy Duck 91 here from Not A Gamer Gaming. We are on day two of Wasteland Wanderer, season two. And I've been hiding up here like a scared little biznatch. Look at my house. Oh my god. That is literally insane. That is the most... Yeah, like that is one night. Let me turn this back on. Uh, we had a few in here. I did manage to kill one of them, but yeah, I didn't want to... I didn't want to deal with that other one. This is just the first night, and I my house is this trash. So only uh, only good things can happen from here on out, right? So before we get started, I do want to let you all know that Wasteland Wander is a series done in tandem with Genosis on his new channel, and I'll leave a link for that in the description box. It's bare. I'm just doing a perusal of the perimeter to make sure we're not going to get surprised. So we got one bear. He's kind of far away. Anyway, yes, if you guys want to see how Jen takes on the Wasteland in his own series, head on over to his channel. Links are in the description box. Otherwise, we're here. Our goals today, survive day one. <laughs> we did that. Uh, our goals also survive day two. So that's what we need to do. Um, I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I can suck on this water. My base clearly needs uh, some tender love and care. I, I really don't know what to start with. I think what we're going to do is gather wood because I can make some arrows and arrows are going to help with killing zombies. So that's that's pretty much how we're going to start. We're doing this slow and steady. I'm going to turn this into a hovering horde base because I feel like that's the smartest thing to do if I want to survive the nights. If I can keep the damn thing hovering like this, you put two blocks on top of each other, two plates. The zombies run in and out. You stand up here. They don't touch you. Life is happy. Everyone's happy. One nice thing about the wasteland is in the mornings a lot of the mean zombies die and they just poop bags all over the place that you can loot. It's like free slobbery loot. Uh, you do have to traverse landmines to get it but you know those are just semantics right? All right I've made as many arrows as I have feathers. Now I have two points. Uh, I'm gonna throw one into lucky looter Hold on, before I do that, let's check what my looting stage is. 38, so if I do put a point in Lucky Looter, I'm gonna slap that right in there, and I go back to my character, 40. So I got two points, I don't know if that's good or not. My other attempt for my next point is to put it into uh, Master Chef to cook bacon and eggs, and when I got to thinking about that, I'm like, ooh, I wanna do that, but then at the same time, meat is relatively hard to find find in the wasteland. It's a lot of rotting flesh and not a lot of meat. But I could, I don't know, boil and grill meats, bake potatoes, cornbread, teas and coffees, cook 10% faster. Because uh, like food is just definitely an issue. Um, I'm a hungry muffin. Another thing I could do is go right into advanced engineering, get myself a forge and kind of start that process. I, I don't know. I don't know the best way to go. I, I usually just spend, po I don't know. I feel like I want to be strategic, but I don't know how. To oh, speaking of meat, we got ourselves a snake. There we go. 10 meat. Only source of meat in the wasteland. Snakes. Uh, I could be wrong. I'm not sure if you can get dire wolves and stuff in the wasteland. Uh, I've never really investigated to find out. All right. Oh, did you hear that wind? Holy fuck, scared the shit out of me. Are you fucking kidding me? Look at this guy. I don't know who this guy thinks he is. Kenny's beating on my wall. I'm not even home. What a jerk. I, I have no idea what I should do first, but I, I'm hungry. So I feel like nature is going to force me into some POIs. Um, do I have any wood? I do. I'm going to make some hatches um, just in case. And just a reminder, guys, my zombies are all set on default. Uh, pretty much easy peasy. From here on out, my biggest concern is probably going to be, I don't know, animals uh, and the, you know, the beefier zombies. But my initial goal, don't know if it's too smart, is to try to pick at some of the POIs in this area and loot them. What the fuck is this? Nothing in here. Anyway, I want to loot them in the hopes that we get, I don't know, some ammo, some food and water, some juicy stuff, just to kind of get us... Um, to a bigger city. If I follow these main roads, apparently they're supposed to take me to a trader. And uh, Jen, the professional that he is, of course, has already found his trader. And I'm sitting here like all lonesome by myself. Oh God. All right, uh, any zombie? Yeah, here we go. Here, big daddy.
I don't normally shut the door behind me, but I did because I'm afraid of what could come from the outside, inside, while I'm trying to deal with meanie bobinis. This uh, this POI is depressing me as and I haven't found anything juicy loot-wise. I've, I've barely found anything to loot in general. We have oil and lead. whoop dee da If this gives me food, I'll be excited. Can of miso soup. I'm gonna eat the shit out of that. Show that right in my face. Is that it for the POI? Lock picks. I guess that's good. Give me ammo. Nine millimeter ammo, of course. Like all I want is seven six two, and I've got shotgun and nine millimeter ammo. Learn how to craft clothing double pocket mods. I guess that's that's lucky, right? Apparently that's like a a juicy type of thing to get right away. Um. Oh, hold on. Let me just. I'm gonna toss the hood because. I did spawn myself in one. Um, I believe that's it for this POI. Unless there's maybe something up on the roof. Uh, up on the roof. All right, if there's something up there, it's just gonna stay up there because there's no way I'm jumping around. All right, thank you, Spit Seeds. That's my motto uh, for the needle and thread book because the pocket mods help, right? What do you need to make these? What are they called? Double pocket mods or clothing double pocket mod. Leather, duct tape, cloth, fragment, sewing kit. Uh, decreases the encumbrance penalty by two. And I can wear a bunch of them, right? So if I can get enough duct tape and sewing kits, maybe I can kind of start trying to remember to make double pocket mods. Um, and then we'll be able to carry a bit more with us when we leave. Okay, next up is the church POI. I haven't done this one in a while. I don't think it's changed, but I'm not sure. I haven't done it since A20. Um, it's the one with the church. It's got like a little kind of thing in the basement. I believe I tried to live in here once. But look at this! Blue drop! Presents from the wasteland. Oh, baby. 762 ammo. Thank you, God. A level 6 iron pickaxe. Cash money, brass, and some steroids. Can we really complain about that? Let's load up this weapon right away, just in case. So again, today's episode is really going to be about not dying. Um, that's really important to me. And about looting. Because I don't think we can do too much without loot. I don't have a shovel. I'm sure there's something under there that I could dig. But yeah, we're really going to need loot. We're going to need ammo. I'd also maybe like to take a little bit of time and see if I can fix up our little... Uh, oil house or temporary house. It doesn't have to be a huge time investment, but just enough to like keep us safe overnight because clearly our first night did not end well. All right, we got our first sneak shot. Die. Ah, oh, beautiful. If I could clear as many zombies sneaking as possible, I feel like that would be our smartest decision. Um, otherwise, I think this room is clear. I'm going to give it a loot rooney You guys have to let me know in the comments if you like this style. We are really just taking our time. I have not. I've tried to do a permadeath series one time. I died four days in. That's a dog. All right, that's fine. Let's just close that up. I'm going to get a hatch. Did I make a hatch? I did. Let's throw our hatch here. Um, assuming this dog is going to be able to get through. Why can't I place that there? That's fine. I'll place it right here. Assuming the dog gets through this door, and then it gets into this one. Did that guy just fall through the wall? I think Tim just fell through the goddamn wall. Oh god. Alright, let's get this. I feel like the dog is hitting at that side door. I want to get my hatch frame up. Let's just investigate further here. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. There we go. Let's upgrade this a little bit. And then take care of this dog. Oh, I see you, sir. Just one second, please. There! Whew. That was terrifying. Now we have another door I have to deal with here. Oh my god, I'm using up all my hatches just in one damn POI. I think this is where the guy... No? Where did he come from? I feel like he sort of clipped in through the wall and just sort of showed up. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead, let's skin the puppy and see about looting whatever is in this little area. I don't think there's much until we get downstairs. God damn it. There's something about using every lockpick, getting to like the near end of that goddamn thing. Ugh, and losing a lockpick. I don't have the patience to bang that out. 
Now I'm looking over all of my loot that I found so far. I'm going to be pretty generous in scrapping things because we're not living here full time. Our point of this little town is honestly just to get enough stuff to kind of get us through until we can get to a bigger city where we're going to build a permanent home. So really I'm looking for what? Like repair kits, ammo, food, water, medical supplies, basically survival stuff. Like I don't need clay. Um, I don't really need cloth. Like I don't really need this stuff, like the raw resources. I might keep the iron to upgrade hatches. I don't need leather. I don't know. I'll keep mechanical parts and things like that temporarily in case I do decide to craft something while I'm here. But uh, we're going to be decently picky. All right. So I feel like down here, the zombies are going to sort of come out of the curtains here um, and try to. Oh, can I hit that safe with this pick? I'm going to try that before I leave. What we could do is maybe wake up the zombies. Just if we do wake them up, we have that hatch upstairs. We could like run to that quickly. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to gingerly make my way in here. Oh, woke one up. Okay, we're going upstairs. Super duper quick. Let's get some space. Oh, not that one. Whoop, wrong space. This is the one we want right here, baby. Let me see if I can upgrade that all the way to iron. Bam. All right. Now let's kill some mini bobinis. Okay. Uh, that was an effect. This, this is a little awkward. That was an effective use of some hatch doors. Is that what they're called? Hatch doors? Uh, let's not get overconfident. We don't know if all the zombies in this section have been cleared. So let's get back to the plan of sneaking slowly around the place and clearing. All right, here's the end loot. I feel like maybe in here there's something just to kind of catch you off guard. No, perfect. Uh, this place is super clear. There's gonna be a lot of juicy stuff here. I can already feel it. Let's get to looting. Do coffins hold a lot of ammo now or is it just guts? Because I feel like lately I've been looting them and we, we're just getting a lot of, you know, rotting flesh. Scope mod, more ammo, first aid bandage, won't say no to that, and a better stun baton, or pipe baton. They don't stun. I'm just going to scrap this one down. Let's not keep what we don't need. Here's some zombies really trying to mess with my day. Um, I have no idea where they're coming from, though. It sounds like more than one. I haven't even gotten to my loot yet, guys. Keep all these hatches up, doing their job. Uh, I'm not seeing any, but I feel like they're going to bang through a wall or a door or something and get me when I least... Oh, there you are, Ronald. Knew it had to be you because you're fucking loud. You sound like 20 zombies. Okay, so we got ourselves a hunting knife schematic, which is super handy. Pressure plate basic sensor schematic. Learn to craft basic electrical sensors. I assume that's the pressure plate. We got the wrench schematic. I'm going to be reading these, even though I've already done it, just to get the experience. And yeah, otherwise, I mean, the loot wasn't bad. We got lots of ammo. Um, but we're going to have to keep trucking. It's going to be a very looty day. Let's see if we can get, I don't know, one more POI done. And then I'm going to go home and see about maybe making my area a little safer. Is the hotel connected to Morning Lumber or no? No, they're not, they're not connected. That's fine, you know what? Why don't we do Morning Lumber, then the hotel, and then head home, assuming they're all relatively quick. Uh, I just wanna look around. Uh, yeah, there's a bear. Here, let's jump inside quick. I'm gonna dump my stuff off and then we'll go over to the Morning Lumber to get some wood. Okay, Morning Lumber. I've got four hatches. I will put one here automatically just to protect me from, I don't know, bears, dogs, anything that's coming from the outside in. I have no wood. Oh, baby. Maybe I can uh, chop up some of these wood things. Do I have no arrows either? Are we just, did I store my arrows? Okay, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, Tom. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. I had to go get some arrows. I got some wood. 
I just would love to get as much sneaking kills as I can. And I'm really hoping there's some good stuff in here. I don't know how long I need to stay in this town before I'm satisfied with the amount of loot we're going to get. I basically want maybe enough ammo to get me through the wasteland and dealing with all of the, what do you call it? The like cops and mutants and dogs as you traverse the wasteland. I'd love enough 7.62 ammo to kind of deal with that. Um, how much that would be, I'm, I'm not too sure. Let's bite the bullet. Jen and I were kind of in debates on who was going to do what. Uh, I did say spears. He wanted to do spears. We both didn't want to do the same thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw a point in Javelin Master and make that decision. Uh, sorry, babe. I'm, I'm just going to do it. And I do have another available point. Let's throw it in Perception. I'd love to get my Lucky Looter kind of like up super high. Because I feel like the really the only way to beat the Wasteland is to have like stellar loot and I mean I prefer looting over building anyway so I'm hoping maybe we'll just put as many points in that as humanly possible okay man there's a lot to these POIs not in loot or zombies but just to sort of traverse you have a lot of walking and I'm almost wondering that if I had a bigger POI perhaps you know you're getting more bang for your buck because I am currently starving to death uh, I don't even want to deal with a sledgehammer. I'm not even going to entertain that notion. So I, I really need food. Um, worst case, I have some meat at home. When we're done here, we can go char it. I would just love to, I don't know, cook it. That would be the better use of my meat, if you know what I mean. Oh, fucking bird in my face. Oh, nearly. Okay, skin the bird. Get inside. Clear the POI. Do not die of hunger. Uh, I believe I've woke something up, so we're just going to have to, I don't know bang our way through perhaps oh god intruder alert intruder alert no stamina no oh, panicking panicking this is fine this is totally fine get the fuck out of my bedroom lady oh fuck maybe shouldn't have shot off the gun possibly woke everything up this is fine it's totally fine god these zombies are smart look at him he's just working that hatch he knows what needs to be done. He's not even standing up. This makes me wonder if with the new patch, perhaps the hatches are just useless. That's not good. All right, I'm hearing a lot of nasty things outside. And I am honestly not 110% sure where they're coming from. Uh, I don't know if they're in the POI or if they are in dear God outside. Okay, this is fine. This is totally fine. All right, big daddy, come bang on my hatch. All right, I took a bandage and some steroids because I'm starting to get encumbered. <gasps> oh God, cop in the house, cop in the house. It's totally fine, don't panic. Oh God, this is stressful. It's gonna spit all over everything. Can I get him? Is he oh God, right in my face. He's gonna blow up. Cause that's what they do if you don't kill them fast enough. They blow their load all over your face. I don't like that, oh God. Oh, that's awkward. Just wrecking the place. Okay, so meleeing is becoming a large challenge because of my hunger issues. So please, God, give me some kind of food in this end loot that I can shove in my face. Um, oh, man. I mean, we're getting a lot of medical stuff, which is, it's all, you know, fine and good. But I need food. Ooh, hunting rifle. Is this a legitimate hunting rifle? Uh, would that be better than my Anascope mod that I could put on the hunting rifle? I mean, I think that's better than pipe batons. Yeah, it's like 54 range damage. I might want to keep that on me in case, you know, I'm standing up in my house and need to kill some zombies from on far. Guys, a meat stew. The seven days to die gods heard my plea for food and provided me with a stew to shove in my face and a level five pipe pistol. Oh, I won't say no to that. I know it's kind of weird. It's just a pipe pistol, but I have nine millimeter ammo. And honestly, you know, I'm desperate. I'm really desperate for any type of shooting pew pews that I can get. Okay, so we've unloaded into our chest. I'm going to take my raw meat and I can't 
cook the murky water. Didn't you used to be able to cook murky water with an empty can? I really could be wrong. Like canned water? Is that not a thing? If I throw my wood in here. Did that do anything? Or you don't need a campfire to cook water anymore? I'm not even I'm not even hundred percent sure what I'm doing. Let's cook some charred meat, some water, so we have food going. And next up we're gonna try to kind of change up the base a little bit. So I'm gonna need to bang out the walls, but then carefully add the plates as I go because I don't want the whole damn thing to fall down. I'm just making sure there's no bears. All right, let's bang out some of these and then place some plates. Guys, side note, uh, I totally was gonna bang out that safe that we found in here and kind of forgot about it. So I'm gonna go up here with my level six pick. Let's bang out the safe super quick. Um, Cause yeah, I want the juicy loot. There might be something good in there. Okay, that was exceptionally painful to do, especially since I'm thirsty. And all of that for Steel Club parts. The horror, the tragedy. That was depressing. Uh, I want to make sure this is loaded at all times. I'm just going to give it a load of Rooney. Just in case the bear kind of creeps up on us. Guys, I know this episode is a little rough. <laughs> I know I'm recording it and I feel like it's rough. So I really appreciate those of you who are still here getting through it with me. I know it's a little bit more slower pace, uh, but I feel like if I don't at least try to get a bit more supplies before I head out, I'm just going to die. And I would love to not die. I just want to get through one playthrough without dying. It would be the most slobbery experience of my life because I have yet to be able to do that. I've, I've always died. I mean, each playthrough, I live a little bit longer. I think my, I mean, aside from drinking or taking a cyanide pill. I do believe my joke mod, I didn't die right away, which was nice. Um, did I only make one thing of water? Is that all I could make? Recipes, boiled water, free. All right, did I use up all my wood for that? Yes, yes I did. But anyway, yeah, it would be just kind of refreshing to not die uh, in a playthrough. I made it to day six on the joke mod before, or day five. I think it was maybe day five before dying due to zombies and not due to my own stupidity. But for this playthrough, I would love to just not die due to zombies or my own stupidity. So that means I have to take things exceptionally slow. Okay, there's not much I can do without wood. So I need to go out on the town and get some trees to bang down. I mean, we're running out of daylight and I'm nervous. The wasteland is not a fun place to be at night. It, it's kind of a shame. It almost forces you to go a little slower because you can't do anything at night. Like I have to stand completely still and silent or else you saw what happened to my base. You just, it gets torn up. And that was being relatively still and silent. The storm is freaking me out. Kudos on the thumpims for the sound effects of the wind. Like, holy crap. Okay, so I do realize that the hotel and the morning lumber are connected together. So that makes a little bit more sense. Is this bear still down here? Is this a bad idea? Because there is the bathhouse over there. I think there's water in the bathhouse. And I know it's almost nighttime, but I would love to kind of scoop some of the water up. Just so I can have something to drink tonight. Um, we did a little bit of work on the base or temporary base. I hesitate to call it a base because honestly, I don't know how long I'm going to be here, but it takes so long without having any points into minor 69 or a mother load to kind of make hitting those blocks a bit easier. So why don't we just kind of run in here super quick? It should not take long. Ski goggles. Yeah, I guess I'll wear them. I've got nothing else on. It really should not take that long to clear this place out. Um, and then maybe we can get a little bit of water before we go to bed tonight. All right. Whew, that is not bad. Sneaking is definitely the way to go. I'd almost put more points in it, but I feel like there's situations now, especially in newer POIs, where... Oh, God, look. Pipe rifle level four. Uh, I, I, I'm going to have to take some time tonight and go through my guns and figure out which ones are the best ones to get but a level six baton it's definitely got to be better than level four 
And we have rage mode. After getting hit, brawling attacks are 20% faster. Uh, I'd be more excited about that if I was planning on punching any zombies, which I absolutely plan on not doing at all. Um, I lost my train of thought, what I was thinking. Going through, oh yes, I have to go through my weapons to kind of see which ones of each version is the best one to have. Uh, I know I could spend some time tonight doing that, but I, yeah, I just don't want to. Do I want to bang out this wall safe or not? That is the ultimate question. Uh, we have a, a little bit of time. Let's see if I can get it done before it hits that time. Okay, that didn't take too, too long. Ooh, fortifying grip mod. That'll be nice. And I won't say no to the shotgun shells. Can I put that mod on my baton? Oh, baby. That's super duper slobbery. Uh, let's get our gun out because we are going to kind of... I want to race around the building, make sure I looted everything on the outside. Oh, we got another building over here. And then let's... Uh, oh, right here. Anything juicy? Bag of flashlights. Not that slobbery. Whatever. All right. Man, these POIs are so quick to go through. I feel like I could do another one. What do you... Let's mark this one as done. I've been kind of Xing off whatever I have done. Just so we don't do a bunch of them over and over again. Do you think I'd have time? What? We've got less than an hour. First of all, let's check our surroundings. We don't want to go into a building and have our ass handed to us by a bear. Because I feel like a bear creeping up on us is the last thing we need. Beds and games. Is that, that's the hotel, right? We've already done that. Uh, biscuits. Is that supposed to say bis biscuits? Biscuits? Is this a bakery? Um, can I just peek? That's locked. Let's just do a quick peek a -rooney. I don't want to get too ahead of ourselves here. Alright, we've killed two zombies. I feel like if we go down here, we're just asking for it. We're asking for not being able to get out of here quickly. Urgh, the temptation is real. Is this the worst idea I've ever had? Let me go and put these back to blocks in case I need to frame up and out of there. Oh, man. And look, if you jump on the table, you're going to land on garbage, which is probably going to wake something up. Okay, so I want to go down there. I do, but at the same time, I just don't want to play with that right now. So why don't I loot the top level on our way out of here? Oh, God, it's nighttime. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's nighttime. We're stuck in a building. Um, hmm. It's stuck under here. Let's get up as high as I can. Oh, shit. That's not as high as I can. All right. This is fine. We're going to turn off our flashlight. We're going to crouch down and we're going to be silent. And we're going to, I don't know, ride out the night in here as, as best we can. All right, guys. That was day two of Wasteland Wander season two. And we've survived our second day so far anyway. If you liked the video, give it a big fat like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys for day three. Assuming I survived the night. Mm -hmm.